So the following screencast is aimed at current AutoCAD and Inventor users, as well as users that are transitioning from AutoCAD to Inventor. So for any user that's using 2D geometry from AutoCAD, you can actually reuse this geometry inside Inventor um, to help speed up the processes for your transitioning um, and utilize data that you've already got so you're not having to start from scratch each time. Okay, so what I've got open here is an AutoCAD model. We're looking at a triangular bracket. And I want to utilize that data and I want to import that data or copy and paste that data into Inventor so that I can extrude it. So how do I go about doing that? First of all, I'll show you the simple way, although it's not the best way, although not the strongest method, but it'll give you an idea of what I'm trying to do. So I'm going to select all of my geometry. I'm then going to copy that geometry. So I'm going to right click, go to clipboard and select copy or copy with base point. Copy with base point allows me to select a base point. So when I bring it into Inventor, it'll drop it using that base point. So copy with base point and I'm going to copy it from the center of that bracket. I'm then going to switch to Inventor. I'm going to start a sketch on my XY plane. I'm then going to right click and I'm going to paste. And that then allows me to paste that geometry into my Inventor sketch. Notice that my cursor is in the center and that's because we selected a base point. Now the only thing with this is bringing this into Inventor, notice that none of the line segments are constrained. So if I was going to bring this straight away into Inventor, what I'd have to do is actually turn it into an Inventor block before I touch anything. So that allows me to select the geometry, go to the create panel, there's a drop down and an option here to create block. Once I create the block, it then turns it into one entity and I can move it around, place it inside my Inventor sketch and fully constrain that geometry. That then allows me to finish the sketch and extrude, like so. But I'm going to show you a better method of doing this workflow. So let me just undo a few times and I'm going to jump back into AutoCAD. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn this geometry inside AutoCAD into an AutoCAD block. So to do that, I look for the block panel, I select create. I can then give this an actual name, triangular bracket. I can then select the base point, so I'm going to pick the point, I'm going to utilise my object snaps. I'm then going to select the objects and utilise a window selection so that it finds everything inside that window. I'm then going to right click to accept that I've selected them specific objects and you'll notice then here I've got 19 objects. I'm then going to hit OK. So now I've turned each of them line segments into one unified block. We're then going to right click, go to clipboard, and again, we're going to copy that entity. So let me jump back into Inventor. Again, I'm going to create my sketch on my XY plane. I'm going to right click, I'm going to select paste. But before I place it into the model, notice that I didn't select the actual uh, base point option from AutoCAD. But before I place it into the sketch, I'm going to right click and we have this option here, paste options. And that opens this paste options dialog. Now, because we're importing it, it's also detected the units that are metric. But I'm also ensuring that this is selected down here at the bottom. If it isn't, just tick it, which is AutoCAD blocks to Inventor blocks and select OK. This then allows me to paste that block inside my Inventor sketch. Now notice straight away, this is now a block. I have my blocks folder that's appeared up in my browser, named after the actual AutoCAD block itself, so triangular bracket. I can then utilize my geometrical constraints and I can constrain my sketch geometry. And we then want to just ensure that we've got a fully constrained sketch, which tells us that now at the bottom. And again then, I can finish my sketch off, 
and perform my extrude. Because I have this block inserted into my inventor part already, if I was to then create another sketch and sketch plane, I can just drag that into my sketch plane. Again, I can constrain the geometry, ensure that the sketch is fully constrained, finish the part. We've then got these two sketches. Again, I can extrude. This time I'm going to flip it the opposite way, like so. Oh, we've now got two of the brackets, utilizing the triangular bracket block which again is referenced in the sketches.